Now to a murder that first made headlines in 1995. The fire set in a subway token booth that killed a clerk working inside. When the three men were sentenced to 25 years in prison, they were wrongly convicted. Today, Brooklyn prosecutors agreed and asked the judge to throw out those convictions. Eyewitness News reporter Darla Miles at the courthouse in downtown Brooklyn with our story tonight. Darla. Joe, there's no way to really describe the magnitude of sitting in jail for 27 years to life, knowing that you did absolutely nothing wrong. In this case, Vincent Ellerby was paroled two years ago and has been working as a chef. But for James Irons and Thomas Malik, they have not walked freely on the streets of Brooklyn since they were 18 years old. The way they did what they did, they was just looking for a conviction. They didn't care who it was. They knew the truth. It's the truth they've been saying all along. Vincent Ellerby, James Irons, and Thomas Malik professing their innocence in the murder of Harry Kaufman. I'm very sorry for the pain that Mr. Harris have, Mr. Harry Kaufman has suffered, but, but I was not there. The Brooklyn DA's office knew that. They didn't care. Public demanded, get tough on crime, make us safe, and they didn't care how it was done. Friday afternoon, the Brooklyn DA's office admitted they got it wrong in the horrifying 1995 attempted robbery of a token booth in Bed-Stuy. Harry Kaufman, working inside of the booth at the time, was doused with gas and set on fire. He initially survived the attack and gave a description of the suspects, but died two weeks later. Anyone could have been convicted for this crime. After all, I'm not six feet, two inches, and 220 pounds. Tommy, is this too little too late? Definitely too little, too late, but it, it, everything takes time. You know, I'm just was happy that I was able to stand strong to endure, you know, this journey, but it was a rough journey. The case was revisited by the Conviction Review Unit, which found the confessions were false and coerced, alleged misconduct of the detectives, and the evidence, some new, some withheld. What happened to us can never be. It ain't enough money in the world that can fix it. In response to the vacated convictions, the president of New York City Transit says this was a horrific attack and our hearts go out now as they did 27 years ago to the Kaufman family, which deserves proper justice. Still shocked because this is supposed to have happened a long time ago. They knew the truth all along, but, you know, they withheld it, you know, um, deliberately, intentionally. A big part of this exoneration was the detective who worked at Louis Farcella. The Brooklyn DA's office began to revisit his cases in 2013, and since then, more than a dozen have been overturned.